I had originally wanted to do all customizations to this new Scheme A watch at one time, but due to the complexity of the customizations, I'm going to do them one at a time. This was the watch I originally got, which is the Scheme A. Very basic digital watch, about $12. And I put a sanded, actually is a leather band that I sanded, give it a suede texture. Very, very nice watch. But I wanted a mix of a black band and this. Now, my black band has not come in yet, but it will look probably kind of like that. It's going to be black leather. This is a very old band that I can just put on there for a while. But the customization at hand, it's just, it's too shiny. The watch is just, it looks like a fishing lure to me. I, it just, it's very, very shiny. Typically, it would be easy to get rid of shine. But this is chromium. If it were stainless steel like this, it's relatively easy to make a satin finish. You can do it with this, but it's not easy. And so it's just, it's done by hand. You pick a sector you want to do, like I don't want to do the top face anywhere, but I do want to do this section here. So I can come in, and again, because this is chromium, it's extremely difficult to give it a, a satin finish. It can be done, but it requires a very careful control. You can see the difference, okay? Then I want the lower part down here done too. So not just this part, but this lower part down here too. You can't go too deep because then you go straight through the chromium plating. work. Let's try the other way around. Start with this stuff this on this side see what happens. It's not quite as aggressive a sandpaper as this stuff. So you use small so folded over pieces so that you can control where you're hitting. So I got this top part, now I gotta go down and hit this. The sandpaper will not last long, because as you know, sandpaper actually becomes a finer grit as you use it. That's the look I was looking for. So this isn't aggressive enough to scratch down this, the finish. This is, but then this is the finish one. Then we come over and we start working on the sides.
it no longer has that super shiny look, but instead more of satin. Whatever direction you do your sanding, you have to stay with it. It actually does make a difference, what direction you're sanding. I left the super shiny on the face anything at the top layer. The rest of it has all been smoothed or unsmoothed. That's probably the rough, hardest area for me to reach was this, these little indentations. Both sides. Okay, it's a subtle difference, but to my mind, very important to give it the look that I wanted.